It's Friday, March the 17th. Happy St. Patty's Day. All right, I'll stop. I'm sorry. It is Mr. Eckler's weekly webcast, though, and welcome to it. Uh, this is the end of the nine weeks. Yesterday was. Today is the first day of the fourth grading period. Uh, look for report cards next Thursday. And uh, yes, in nine short weeks, you will have fifth graders. Reality check. <laughs> On that note, I'd like to thank you all very, very much for a fantastic uh, teacher appreciation week. It was really nice, just all the cards and all the food and all the candy and all the just wonderfulness. And thank you very much. It's, it's good to know that you all are out there. Um, it's, it, this week means a lot to all the staff, and, and we greatly all appreciate it. Um, summer camps. Speaking of almost going to be fifth graders, before they're that, they're going to have summer. What are you going to do during the summer? Well, uh, Trit Specials is hosting a summer camp uh, June 5th through the 8th, and the Pope fencing team, the <laughs> state champion Pope fencing team, will also be hosting a uh, fencing camp July 10th through July 13th. You will note that both of those camps are on Monday through Thursday because the Cobb County buildings close on Friday. Uh, look for more information on the Pope Fencing Camp coming really, 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 really soon on where to sign up and all of that. And if you scroll down a post or two uh, from this uh, uh, post on the blog, uh, you'll find some more information about the Trit Specials Camp. Uh, American Revolutionary War has ended. The Battle of Yorktown has been fought and we have won. Yay us! Our unit test will be Monday the 27th. That's not this Monday, it's the following Monday. Uh, I was going to make it Friday, but apparently we've got about a fourth of the class that's going on a big Cub Scout camping trip this weekend, so I, I gave them the extra weekend. Use it well, study now. Uh, the flashcards, every single one of them got flashcards tonight. And uh, there were also four review videos in their science school book section, or I'm sorry, in their social studies school book section uh, under the tab of unit test in the American Revolutionary War group. So there you go. Uh, videos. Also, if you scroll down a little bit on the blog, you will see four or I'm sorry, five fantastic videos that we have produced over the last couple of few weeks uh, using our uh, Play Pals 2 app and uh, throwing a little spice and a little jazz on it and editing it, and they just turned out phenomenally well. I'm really proud of them all. They've worked really hard on this, and they've done a great job. So kudos to everybody for uh, your group's projects. Uh, looking ahead to next week, uh, in math, we will be continuing to work with angles and solving for missing values within uh, a set of angles. You'll see it on Monday for homework. It'll make more sense. In a reading, yes, we will. And in English language arts, we are going to begin our Kid Talk uh, uh, project. We're going to be making our Kid Talk videos. Uh, talk to your kid about Kid Talk. Have they picked their subject? Have they a good idea of how they're going to talk about their talking idea? They don't need to write anything. They don't need to have anything done. They just need to have an idea and maybe jot down a couple of bullet points, uh, reasons, stuff, things. Uh, talk to them about their ideas and just make sure it sounds like a, a, a doable one. We don't want to do anything that's, you know, we're going to solve global warming. Well, it's kind of out of the hands of a 10-year-old. Now they might have a good idea of how we can act locally, and that's a perfectly great thing. But, um, you know, anything can happen, right? Maybe they do have the secret to global warming in their head. Wouldn't that be cool? Science, we're going to finish up our solar system. We're going to do some STEM. And in social studies, uh, uh, we will review a little bit for the American Revolution. We're going to throw a little more focus to science next week. So, um that's it. That's everything. Y'all have a wonderful weekend. Have a great camping trip to all the campers, and we'll see y'all Monday morning. Happy St. Patty's Day.